My name is Joel Moody and I was born in San Diego, California. I have hobbies. One of my hobbies that I enjoy doing is playing Ultimate Frisbee. I also enjoy uh, playing chess. Uh, I, uh, if, if there's a baseball game on, I'll want to watch that. Board games are phenomenal. The baseball team I root for is the best baseball team, San Francisco Giants. My last vacation, I went to I think it was Disney World. Uh, we went down there uh, for several days and also went to the Harry Potter land that's down there. One of the last books that I read uh, for seminary, which is pretty much the only reading I do right now, is a book called Exodus and Revolution by a guy named uh, Walter. Um, Edward Walter, I think his name is. Um, as far as for fun, uh, I think that the last book I read, I, I reread a book called Ready Player One. It's a really good book. They're going to turn it into a movie in the next couple of years. My, my immediate family right now is uh, my wife, Kate, and uh, both of us grew up in the same hometown. We were high school sweethearts. Uh, my parents uh, both live in that same hometown, Livermore. It's in the San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, my dad works at, as a physicist at a national lab, and my mom uh, has worked a number of jobs mostly related to education, uh, and she's currently retired and has done homemaking. I have a younger brother and a younger sister, uh, both of whom uh, recently graduated college. My brother is in Seattle, works as an actuary, uh, and he's married, um, has been for the last couple of years. My sister is a uh, physical trainer down in Southern California. One fun fact about me is that independently, uh, both from my friend group in California and from my friend group up in New Jersey over the last couple of years, uh, I've been called Joel the Troll um, uh, without any discussion between the two groups, um, in part because when I do play games with people, um, I take on sort of the black hat character, the one who, the one who gets people excited to come um, beat. Uh, <laughs> uh, and so I've been called a troll for that reason, um, just because I want to help people out. <laughs> if I were stranded on a deserted island and I had to bring only three things with me, uh, I would probably bring Kate. It sounds maybe corny, but I um, enjoy her as a friend and as a wife, and I would be remiss without her company. Uh, I would also um, want to bring something to do, um, whether that is some sort of a, a, a beach game, something just to, to, to pass the time. There's a great game called Coob, uh, which is sort of like lawn bowling, but um, works really well for the beach. Um, and Again, not because I have to say this, but because I want to say this, I would bring, a, I would bring the Bible um, as a way of, it's part of a daily quiet time, and something that I would want to be able to touch base with God, uh, more than just through prayer, but also through something that um, is fixed and not subject to my own anxieties. I think that the talent of mind that hope could benefit from is curiosity. I, one of the things that I love about young people is they are not ashamed to ask the question why. And that's something that I try to do as often as I can because I think that there's a, there's a wisdom to it, to be willing to ask why and, and to continue to ask why even when it gets annoying. Uh, and to have that curiosity as to why we're doing the things we're doing, um, why we worship and how we worship, um, why we love God the way we do, why God loves us. All of these things are, are really exciting to plumb into. I would probably go, if I were to choose a game show or reality show to go on, I'd probably go on Jeopardy. Uh, I think that it is a classic show, uh, and it's also one that I get the pleasure of sitting and watching every so often. Uh, and I love yelling at the contestants when they don't get the right answer, uh, which um, is, is very rarely they get it often. But I'd love to go on Jeopardy. I think that'd be fun. When I was looking at Hope, one of the things that was most attractive to me is uh, the unique position, uh, the unique space it sits in. Um, how I've been describing it to folks who I've, I've spoken about it with is that it, it's, it's on the county line between Travis and Williamson. And because of that, it has communities from both Travis and Williamson that are part of this greater community. That's sometimes the only thing we can say we have in common is the confession, Christ is Lord. And um, to be in that, that sort of a space where people are forced to come together despite maybe ideological differences, that really excites me. And that's something that we can prophetically show other people that we don't have to hate a person because we disagree with their ideology. Friends, I'm excited to be with you soon. Um, thanks for bringing me along, and I look forward to the ride together.